Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Break. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on receiving the Arab Tourism Medal of Excellent Class presented by the Arab Tourism Organization, the ATO, in honor of his support to the ATO goals and plans since its inception. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister took pride in the honor that reflects Bahrain's commitment to promote the joint Arab action and all organizations and institutions affiliated with the Arab League. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness in the Kingdom of Bahrain for their development and success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on receiving the Arab Tourism Medal of Excellent Class presented by the Arab Tourism Organization, the ATO. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated His Majesty the King on receiving the medal in recognition of his support to Bahrain's tourism sector and to the ATO goals and plans, which reflects the royal keenness on promoting the joint Arab action in various fields, chiefly tourism. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince took pride in the royal vision for supporting the tourism sector, which highlights the role of tourism in accentuating Bahrain's Arab identity and its rich history and culture. He wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness in the Kingdom of Bahrain for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadaybiya Palace the Minister of Labour and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan who presented to His Royal Highness a number of senior officials and newly appointed directors at the ministry. His Royal Highness congratulated them and His Royal Highness on their appointment wishing them success in their duties. His Royal Highness affirmed that economic and social progress in the Kingdom witnesses a remarkable development which reflects on the solidity of society. His Royal Highness said that the Bahraini society is strong and dynamic and that the Bahraini people are known for their passion for work. His Royal Highness hailed the role of the Ministry in developing the citizens' productivity and living standards and provide various services that ensure social stability. The Prime Minister noted Bahrain's achievements in the labor sector, which resulted in low rates of unemployment, and reflects the success of economic policies adopted by Bahrain, which was the subject of praise from regional and international institutions. His Royal Highness ordered to work on lowering the percentage even further. The Prime Minister directed the Ministry to continue its sponsored programs aimed at various segments to provide the appropriate environment for further contribution or to contribute in the Kingdom's development process. His Royal Highness commended the achievements of Bahraini women in the science and labour sectors, expressing pride in Bahraini women's high status in various ministries and bodies. The Minister of Labour expressed thanks and appreciation of His Royal Highness's support to the Ministry and his directives that aim to develop the labour and social development sectors, affirming that the follow-up on His Royal Highness is an encouragement to exert more effort to achieve the leadership's aspirations. The Ministry officials also expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's directives and his support to national caters in various ministries, stressing their keenness to implement these directives to achieve the objectives of the Ministry. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghalibiya Wall Palace. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on being conferred the Tourism Medal of Excellence class presented by the Arab Tourism Organization, the ATO, commending the achievements made in the era of His Majesty the King, which contributed to developing the tourism sector and therefore strengthening the national economy. His Royal Highness also hailed the support of the royal support to the government's plans and programs regarding the tourism sector as well as its touristic projects. His Royal Highness the Premier highlighted the importance of uh, forms and exhibitions in supporting the development of the professional sectors at the national and regional levels, including the Gulf Engineering Forum, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, who delegated the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to inaugurate it.
In light of issuing Law 27 of 2017 regarding the organization of the real estate sector that stipulates determining the fee categories on services, applications and licenses issued in accordance with the law's provisions, the Cabinet decided not to impose any new fees on services. The Cabinet approved amending the Court of Cassation Law. The amendment allows filing appeals at the Court of Cassation for ill, civil and legal verdicts regardless to the court that issued them. The cabinet also discussed a new draft law on international crimes that defines the international crimes of the kingdom's courts, including mass murder crimes, crimes against humanity, war crimes and violence crimes. The cabinet discussed the kingdom's accession to the International Union for the Conservation of Natural and Resources, the IUCN, and the Global Environment Facility. The Cabinet approved entering an agreement on air transportation and signing seven memorandums of understanding between Bahrain and Morocco in the fields of political consultation, media and telecommunication cooperation, youth and sports and social insurance. The opening of a regional center in Bahrain for United Nations Commission on International Trade Law to include the Middle East and North Africa in its work had been discussed. The Cabinet delegated the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication to arrange the Kingdom's accession to the Outer Space Treaty, the Treaty on Principles Governing the Activities of States and the Exploration and Use of Outer Space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, and the Convention on International Liability for Damage Caused by Space Objects. The Cabinet also discussed two proposals and approved the government's response according to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs recommendation on them. The first on the uh, Safra Youth uh, Cultural and Sports Center and the second on Al Arin Wildlife Park. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Kingdom's earning of a full membership of the European Conference of Arab Horse Organization, the ECAHO. The Zionists affirm that this win is another achievement of the sport of Bahraini horses' beauty, adding that it will lead to further developments in this field. For his part, the President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, also extended sincere congratulations to the leadership on this occasion. The ECAHO was established in 1983 between 10 European and Arab countries due to their keenness to apply some laws and regulations for the Arabian Horse Beauty Championships and to preserve this heritage. In line with the 2017 government forum held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the coordination meeting on environment was held today in the presence of undersecretaries, assistant undersecretaries, and directors in various ministries and relevant government institutions. The meeting comes in preparation for the government workshop that will focus on the environment and services headed by the Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Ministerial Committee for Social Services and Telecommunication, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The meeting began with remarks by the Chief Executive Officer of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Dayna, in which he stated that addressing the environment topic reflects His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's keenness on prioritizing citizens in achieving progress, urging to support environment protection and preserve its natural resources. He noted the role of the Supreme Council for the Environment President, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in supporting the Council's executive authority. In preparation for the third government workshop, which will focus on enhancing public services, government officials yesterday led a coordination meeting at the Sheikh Isa Cultural Center. The meeting follows the 2017 government forum, during which His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed government officials to lead a series of workshops to identify key objectives for the upcoming Government Action Plan 2019-2022. The 2017 
2017 government forum was held in October 2017 under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Ms. Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and through the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The forum outlined the government's progress in implementing initiatives and programs as part of the government action plan 2015 to 2018. The meeting began with remarks by the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, during which she highlighted that His Majesty the King's directives to meet citizens' aspirations continues to drive ongoing work to identify key objectives for the upcoming Government Action Plan 2019-2022. The minister confirmed that improving standards of public services, including education and health care, remains a key component of the government's action plan, while recognizing that increased collaboration across government is crucial to improving standards and identifying opportunities to expand public sector services. The minister also highlighted that the meeting offered a unique platform to assess and evaluate key initiatives designed to improve public services and increase efficiency within the sector. The minister stressed that these efforts reflect the crucial role played by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in advancing government performance and promoting excellence across Bahrain's key sectors. The outcome of the meeting will receive a final round of review and approval at the upcoming workshop taking place on the 4th of March under the leadership of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated along with the accompanying delegation in the 28th International Conference of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, which spotlights the concept of terrorism making its dangers or making its dangers the inevitability to confront it and its mechanisms which is held in Egypt under the patronage of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. The deputy chairman affirmed that the Arab and Islamic nation is facing unprecedented challenges to weaken it, drain its energies and its resources, and destabilize its security and stability. He noted that terrorism is a very dangerous, complex and influential industry that relies on intellectual and psychological programming. He called on the nation to join together to protect the region and the youth from terrorism. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghafoor. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,370.71 points, marking an increase of 9.06 points above the previous closing. The rise was in the investment, services and industrial sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 48% of the total value of traded shares. Results indicated that 104 equity transactions took place with a volume of 2,126,471 shares worth 428,286 Bahraini dinars. Ministry, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zayed Rashid Zayani said yesterday that Bahrain's national airlines announced that it's planning to double its number of aircrafts by 2022. Gulf Air contributes over 8% of total GDP. Its new corporate strategy includes expansion plans and is geared towards elevating the passenger experience. It's expected to buy 39 new Boeing and Airbus aircrafts this year. The aircrafts will include Boeing 787-9, Airbus A320neo and Airbus A21neo. Al Zayani said that in four years, Gulf Air will be doubling the aircrafts, but not the expenses, as it will attempt to maintain the balance so that it doesn't impede the growth of the company. Gulf Air's new corporate strategy promotes Bahrain's tourism economy and aviation industry. The new strategy is the beginning of a new era of the Gulf Air, which begins this year with many news, new routes, new products, new logo, new branding, and the new destinations to fly. So, all in all, I invite all of you to join on board the Gulf Air to, to the new and bright future. 
The Central Bank of Bahrain has launched a new electronic service which facilitates banking transactions for its employees through a direct online banking system with retail banks in the kingdom. The system allows the retail banks providing credit services to CBB employees to view upon the concerned employees' request the acquired salary and employment service data in a timely and secure manner, which preserves the privacy of the data. Upon receiving the employee's request, CVB system sends the relative data electronically to the concerned bank, allowing it to access the employee's information through a special transaction code for a limited period. This online service is part of the CVB strategy to utilize technology in the development of business processes in order to enhance the work mechanism, preserve information security and privacy, and better optimize the use of resources. Still with the Central Bank of Bahrain that announced that the week's 70 million Bahrain dinar issue of Treasury bills has been oversubscribed by 124%. The bills carrying a maturity of 91 days provide a 3.18% weighted average rate of interest compared to 3.13% for the previous issue. The approximate average price for the issue was 99.202%, with the lowest accepted price being 99.185%. This is the issue number 1,692. With this, the total outstanding value of government treasury bills is 2.16 billion Bahraini dinars.